Everyone has a dream. Open up a youth center. Fashion company. A film actor. But only some choose to chase them. Do I really believe that I've got what it takes? This is Dream Quest. I think I'm gonna encounter something big here. So this is pretty much how I see it going into this competition. Sydney's the details girl. She's got the whole business plan. She knows what she wants to do and how to do it, but she doesn't portray her passion really well and cause you to want to be a part of her vision. Kylie Jean is the exact opposite. She is passionate and fiery and you just want to do anything with her, but then when it gets to what are we doing, she can't give you the points of exactly what she wants to accomplish. Holden, he can actually do both. He can do it all. The problem is he doesn't know what he wants to do. Sydney, you can begin. Hi, my name is Sydney Bellows and I currently live in New York City. When I got up for that pitch, I realized I've got five minutes to convince these three people what my dream is, why it's important. My dream is to be a successful business owner that positively impacts the lives of others. And I have currently started a company called Better Than a Cupcake. And my mission behind Better Than a Cupcake is to use the vehicle of fashion to help launch the careers of young designers and to help provide clothing for those that are underprivileged. Um, recently, I launched my website, Better Than a Cupcake. And the concept of Better Than a Cupcake is to feature current college students that are studying fashion design in New York City. Designers can come onto the website and create a member profile where they can display up to six articles of clothing from their collection and viewers can come on and view, comment, and like each of the products from the designer as well as the designer themselves. The designers that receive the highest number of votes will be featured in a fashion show that's held in New York City. The fashion show also has a charitable aspect where a portion of the proceeds will go to a charity to provide clothing for underprivileged children. The biggest struggles within that fashion show are two things. The first is funding. I don't have the funding to put on a successful fashion show that's professional, and also, I don't have the knowledge of how to put together a fashion show, and that's something I'm hoping to gain. Because you know, New York City population is very high. Yes. Isn't it a lot of designers there now? There is a lot of designers, and that's why I'm focusing on New York City, because there's just over 10,000 undergraduates in New York City studying fashion design. They are trying to get noticed and they don't have a lot of opportunity because there's so much competition. So what I want to do is give them more opportunities to get their work noticed. And where do you draw your inspiration, both as a designer and in your desire to help others? Where does that come from for you? I'm here for a purpose and I know that and I know that I'm here to help people. And you know, over the years I've, you know, thinking about what do I want to do and I've had an interest in fashion. I never thought that you know I would be a fashion designer itself, and I'm not don't have the artistic abil ability to do that. But I have an eye for it, and I love it. Cindy, you're 19 years old. Yes. And if I was together as you are, as mature as you are at 19, when I was 29, I'd be happy. <laughs> yeah. Where does this come from? Since I was young, I was always I was that kid at 12 years old walking around the neighborhood and walking around the shops. Really can I file an application? And they're like, what? And um, I don't want to be the slacker. I don't want to be looked at, you know, as not doing anything. I love interacting with people and I love getting out there and, you know, the nervousness and the fear that excites me, you know. I don't like it in that moment exactly, but it keeps me going. And um, I'm just always thinking about the next day. Very impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Great job, Sydney. Good job, Sydney. Thank you. you can join the others on the other boat, and uh, we'll call you back in a little while. Okay. Great Thank job. you very much. I've always known what my dream is, but I didn't know how to articulate it correctly. And I think one of the things I proved to myself today is I've always had it within myself. It was just how to tell other people and put it into a short amount of words. She has a very clear-cut plan. It's already obviously in motion. The website, uh, mm -hmm. the direction that it's heading, you know what she wants. Um, great personality, wonderful presentation. Very impressive. Hey guys, how's it going? Hello. Good. How are you? I'm awesome, thanks. 
When I stood up in front of the judges to do my pitch, I wasn't nervous at all. My name is Kylie Jean, and I just feel so honored to be here today. I have a dream that's based around hosting a television show with college athletes, particularly college football. I love the game of football. It's something that I've always loved, and my favorite thing is the dedicated fan base that college football fans have, which I know you know that. I love watching television shows all the time that are just showing the culture of what's going on with different teams and being in the middle of the action or being at a live game. There's nothing like it. But I've kind of noticed that they're missing something that I think could be tapped into very easily which is that personal connection between the fan and the player themselves. So I would absolutely love to build that connection that has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on on the field, but has everything to do with what's going on off of the field. It has nothing to do with stats, it has nothing to do with facts, but it has everything to do with the people. So I think you could easily do something like that where you're hosting a television show where me, the host, would act as a bridge between the college football fan and bring them together with the college athlete. And I know I can relate with the fan because I'm that crazy one on the sideline that has my face painted up when I'm out in public and see another Gator fan. I'm giving that Gator chomp and I am psyched up. But I can also relate with the athlete themselves. And I know without a doubt that there is so much more to the student athlete than what happens on that field. And I know I just have a big idea that could be done well. And if somebody took interest in it um, and invested their heart in it and could see my heart in the matter, I really think that it could be a quality television show that could potentially become a household name. So that comes to why would you choose me? Why would you want to invest into my dream? Some girl from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, I honestly believe that my life was purpose for a moment like this. I've lived my life intentionally to bring others up that are around me, to speak life into them, to connect them to what's going on around them, to find out what's in their hearts and elevate that to the next level. Now, I have a little bit of media experience and I know I have more to learn, but I'm totally teachable and I'm wanting to learn more. You have a very dynamic personality. I feel like you're very engaging. You'd be great as a host. I can really see that right away. And I feel like you have a very natural confidence. And I'm wondering, where does that come from for you? It comes from two very distinctive places. A, it comes from my faith, and B, it comes from my family. Ever since I was young, um, my parents have done words of affirmation with us. So literally every night before I've gone to bed, I would sit with my parents and I would say, I like myself. I have a great destiny and people listen to me because I have valuable and important things to say. And when I said it enough, I began to believe it. And when I believed it, I'm living it. So you have all the tools, clearly. Thank you. You have a great vision. What are the next steps? Well, a huge step for me that I've been a little hung up on is it takes a lot of things. A, it takes relationships. It takes knowing the right people to get into that arena. It's about finances. It's about having the right people that believe in me and believe in my dream. Okay, that, and, and I agree with that, but what are the next steps? What do you do to start building the right relationships and start to move the flywheel along? So, uh, yeah, it's showing up. For me, it's showing up to events. It's showing up to the college game day things that are going on. It's showing up to my local university. And it's really just networking. It's getting to know people and getting to really know them and not trying to take anything from them. I'm going to give you right now a platform. Yes. This is your show. Can you give me a five second intro if it's your show? Hey guys, my name is Kylie Jean and I'm here at the University of Florida. We are so excited for the action that's going on. Over here we have students rallying together. They're getting ready to welcome in the team. They're about to go through the tunnel and we're going to get in the middle of the action. So are you guys ready? Because I know I am, so let's hear you make some noise. Come on, guys. Oh. Kylie Jean, you know that both Leroy and I went to Florida State. Oh. <laughs> I'm a Gator fan, I'm sorry. Okay. Had to stay true. <laughs> Thanks. That was excellent. Natural performer, obviously. You've done. You've had performance background, which really shows. Okay, Kylie Jean, you did an awesome job. Really proud of you. You can join the others on the boat, and we'll let you know when we're ready. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Whatever the outcome is of today, I just feel like this is such an amazing opportunity to take what's been in my heart and just be able to present it to people that have influence and just to get feedback. Um, that's all I really wanted. I just wanted feedback, and I wanted to get something that's been inside and just get it out. Oh, that was good to put her on the spot like that. She did great. Yeah. She really not responded. Even, yeah. Not even an yeah. ounce of trepidation. Like, no, just boom, just, yeah. straight just into it. it. Like, that's hard. I love her confidence, her tools, and her vision. I just I question her actually going out and doing something. Every time, even when I tried to push her on it, she was still very visionary and big picture. She's going to need help with someone saying, here's, put one foot in front of the other, and here's how you do that. Yeah. 
first, I just want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to come and listen to us and give us this opportunity to give you our pitch. It was a very big moment for me, but I was more excited and less nervous that I was going to crash and burn. And I want to do something that's a little bit different than I think what you probably heard. I'm sure the ideas that have been pitched to you have been fantastic, but I want to sell you more, not so much on a pitch or an idea, but a vision. You see, what I'm passionate about, it doesn't fit into one category. It doesn't fit into one profession. I am passionate about empowering people to do more and to be more than they ever thought they could be. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what drives me. I have a friend, he left his comfortable home, his comfortable business that he owned, and he now lives in Cambodia. Every day, he walks out miles to trash heaps where kids live, and he brings them hard-boiled eggs, and he teaches them, and he just loves on them. That's a dream that I want to support. That's a person that I want to empower. That's what I get excited about. I might not necessarily be that person who goes out and does it, but I'm passionate about supporting those people that I think are doing great things. I want to be able to, years down the road, be able to support and empower and give resources, whether tangible or intangible, to thousands of people that have those dreams and I want them to be able to live them out. But I need help with that. That's why I'm here. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know exactly how I'm going to get to that point B of helping people in the way that I want to help. Could you kind of narrow it in? I know you don't want to, because I do see you have a lot of interest and a lot of passion to really just be a motivator. And I'm just wondering how you're gonna like, sort of focus that into something that is slightly tangible. Thank you, Holden, that was excellent. I very well may not win this, but no matter what happens, I am proud of how I performed. Um, it is just tailoring a plan yeah. that it seems to be the thing that he just needs. I think figuring out the leap from there to how do I touch thousands of people and what mm -hmm. kind of you know organization I build or put around it yeah. is is where he needs to to spend some more time. The way that uh, Kylie Jean responded to your request to her just to Pretty spell phenomenal. on the spot. Pretty phenomenal. That's what it takes. Yeah. I'll make this very really quick. I'm gonna say Kylie Jean. I agree with you entirely that Kylie Jean is the more talented person in the room. I lean towards Sydney because talent can only take you so far. And I think she's a talented person as well, but I think that she's gonna be disciplined. I feel Kylie Jean has a strong energy that's gonna be very influential and dynamic out in her industry. I think that Sydney has a great plan. Yeah. No, that was very non-committal. Yes. <laughs> Well, we have our other five contestants here that have joined us for the big reveal. But now we're going to call in our three finalists. <laughs> I think we all agree that it's hard to pick a winner from all winners, really. But we did have to make a decision, and we made that. The last two weeks have been leading up to this point, and you have fought hard, all three of you. And now we're going to announce the winner of Dream Quest. And the winner is... Kylie Jean. And then when they called my name, I just was like, is this real life? Like, what is this? And I just, I i don't even know. Like, from then on, I just felt, like, shaky. Like, it just felt like such a cool thing to have somebody see your dream because you hold it so close to your heart. And to see them believe or, like, see at least a glimpse of something um, that they could see moving forward. Our wild card pick ended up winning the show. And... 
I have to say I was thrilled. Kylie Jean's joy is absolutely contagious. The girl is a bright shining light. She walks into a room, she lights it up, she draws everyone to her. And I think that those gifts and those qualities that she has will truly make her unstoppable. If she continues to learn how to get from A to Z, that was her big struggle, was the filling in the blanks in between her goal and where she is right now. She has everything she needs personality-wise. If she continues walking out those baby steps, she's gonna do it. In the end, for winning Dream Quest, we were so excited to give Kylie Jean this amazing opportunity. We actually produced for her a pilot episode of the college football show she has on her heart. Let's do this! As you might guess, Kylie Jean was terrific. If you'd like to check out her show, you can see it in its entirety on our website. Whether you're a player or a fan, yeah!